Hello everyone, this is teacher Karen and here again for our another lesson. For our lesson for today is lesson number 1.4. Our topic is under set, equal set, equivalent set, universal set, subset. We have equal sets. Equal sets, they contain exactly the same elements. For example, set M is equal to C A S T. And then set N is equal to E A S C. So they have the same elements. So we call them equal sets. Meaning M is equal to N. Another one is equivalent sets. There is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the sets. For example, we have set B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And set C is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But the difference is, in set B is written into Hindu-Arabic form. But in set C, we des uh, describe it by word. So they have they have the same numbers of elements so they they have one-to-one -one correspondence between the sets so they are equivalent sets so meaning b is equivalent to c and look at the symbol in equal set we have equal sign but in equivalent we have the way be equal compare these sets of candies set a we have mint chocolate lemon set B mint strawberry lemon and set C we have lemon chocolate mint so what sets are equal A and C so meaning they have equal elements for example in set A we have mint and then also mint chocolate set A we have chocolate set C we have chocolate too and then set A have lemon and set C also have lemon so they are equal because their element is equal so A is equal to C what sets are equivalent but not equal A is equivalent to B because A has mint chocolate lemon B has mean strawberry lemon so they have the same numbers of elements but different elements and also set p and set c they are also equivalent but not equal exercise are the following sets equal so choose one Number one, A is equal to C, A, R, and B is equal to A, R, C. And then number two, C is equal to 5, 10, 15, 20, and B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Which of these two are sets of equal? So the answer is number one, because they have the same numbers of elements and the, the and there is also the same elements. C, C. A has A. Also, B has A. A has R. And B also has R. So they are equal sets. Are the following sets are are the following sets are equivalent? Number one, A equal to P I E and B equal to I P E and then number two C is equal to M A P H and B is equal to one two three four so which are the following sets are equivalent so the answer is number two because they have different they have different elements but they have the same numbers of elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So they are equivalent. Okay. We have B 
here settings. This one we call the universal set. Why? It is denoted by U contains all the elements being considered in each situation like universe. In universal set we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then it has subsets. The, the, the set set A has two four. It comes from the universal has two four. And B we have four six eight. And also the universal has four six eight. Set C is equal to two eight ten. Also the universal set has two eight ten. So from this set we have three subsets. So we call these three as subsets. Elements are coming from the universal set or from another set. Set A is a subset of set B. If all the elements in A are also elements of B, so we call it a subset of B. So A has 2, 4, B has 4, 6, 8. They have the same elements, which is 4. So they are A is the subset of set B. Another one is if set A is a proper subset of set B. At least one element in B, not in A. Meaning, if you compare A to B, we have the same element, which is 4. But 2 is different from B. So we call them also like this subset, but we call them also as proper subset. Listing all possible subsets. So how do we list all the pos possible su subsets in one set? Consider G is equal to 0, 1, 2. List all possible subsets. Solution. Number of elements which is 3. 1, 2, 3. Then 2, Cube, meaning 2 times 2 times 2. This is the exponent and this is the base. Exponent, mean, it means you will multiply the base into 3 times. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So we will, in this set, we have 8. Subset. So let us see. The first one is empty set. The second one is zero. Third one is one. And the fourth one is two. And then another subset is zero and one. And then zero and two. And then one and two. And then zero, one, two. So we have all in all 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 subsets from 3 numbers of elements. Let us review. What is the difference between equal and equivalent sets? Equal sets contain exactly the same elements, while equivalent sets contain the same number of elements but different kinds of elements. What is the difference between universal set and subsets? Universal set contains all the elements while subset elements came from a universal set or another set. See you again next time. God bless and thank you.